Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about Chanel's Le Blanc Essence Lotion, described as the healthy light creator. But before we get into today's video, please take a second to grab your iced coffee or your hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So I was very lucky that my friend Miriam at the Chanel counter gave me a nice luxury sample to test out for you guys here. I am going to go ahead and read the description off the website right here because I can't quite memorize all those paragraphs, but the full size product is 150 milliliters and retails at 95 Canadian plus tax. It's part of the Le Blanc line. Last week we talked about the Hydra Beauty Camellia Water Cream, which is part of the Hydra Beauty line. This is a line basically just to add hydration to the skin. The Le Blanc line is there to illuminate and brighten skin tone, so this lotion is part of the latter. So the description goes as such. Let your light blossom. Le Blanc Essence Lotion Healthy Light Creator 3-in-1 Fresh, milky, brightening essence lotion that enhances and amplifies the skin's healthy, pure light. This product claims to instantly brighten, hydrate, and plump the skin while leaving it soft. It has an ingredient called ume flower and ume flower oil, which is not an ingredient that I'm familiar with at all. But they also have vitamin C in the product, which is a really great antioxidant and it is great for brightening and evening skin complexion. So there are three big claims with this item. The first one is to revitalize the skin or to make the skin appear revitalized. I think wordage is very important when you're reading the description of skincare because they don't claim that your skin will be revitalized they say that your skin will appear to be revitalized the formula claims to help the skin recover its translucency and luminosity it also claims to restore the skin to lock in moisture um, to deeply nourish the skin and to leave the skin looking plump and supple so this product does have a scent i'm not exactly sure what the scent is. I'm not familiar with the entire Le Blanc line, so I'm not sure if this smells like the rest of the Le Blanc products. We all know that Hydra Beauty has that really intense fruity scent. This one just smells kind of like a cosmetic. It kind of smells like the spa in a way, like you know the, that, that scent that a lot of skincare products have. It has a scent like that. The texture itself is very fluid. It's very milky. It's not transparent it feels like a lotion it feels like a liquid it's not a gel it's just a liquid it almost looks like skim milk honestly when you look at it so when i was at the counter with miriam she explained to me several different ways to apply the toner there is the classic way where you just take a cotton and apply it on the skin you can also just pour the product onto your hands and apply it but she showed me a method because she gave me a facial in one of the cabins in the back and she showed me a method where you take one of these little fabric compressed masks, these are available for sale at any dollar store, dollarama type store, and they, as soon as you add water to them, they expand. But what's fun is when you add this toner here, it expands and it turns into a sheet mask, and then you can apply it on your skin, and it feels so light and refreshing. It's a fantastic feeling. I didn't even know that these types of products existed. I'd seen the ones that um, are towel shaped. When you travel, you can add water and kind of have like a little towel, but I didn't know they made uh, sheet masks like that. So. Uh, I tried it at the store with the Essence Toner, and I tried it at home multiple times. It's a lot of fun. It does feel very refreshing, although if you use a toner, it doesn't feel as hydrating afterwards, so you do have to go in with your serums and moisturizers, but it's a fun little way to play around with your skincare. I think if you wanted the treatment to be more hydrating, I would go in with your favorite serum instead. You could do like maybe a little bit of the toner and then add the serum to kind of have it be more hydrating. And since it is a, um, a sheet mask, you're kind of forced to let it just sit on your skin a bit longer. You're kind of forced to take more time with your skincare. So it's a lot of fun. Using that little technique with the sheet mask, feels so refreshing and hydrating and you do see the effect right away when you peel the mask off that your skin does look really bright and hydrated and plump because you've been forced to sit there for a few minutes with the skincare on your skin. If you're someone who has a hard time um, going through your routine, maybe it's a good thing to do these little sheet masks because it kind of forces you to sit there and take care of your skin. 
So what do I think of this toner? I think that it feels really nice. I like the texture. I like the consistency. I like the scent. I do think that it works really lovely as a toner. I did feel light and refreshed. I felt like my skin was nice and hydrated because I feel like sometimes when you put on a toner, you kind of feel like it kind of strips away all the hydration on your skin, which is horrible. But this is a nice toner. You don't get that sensation. There's no pulling. There's no tightness. There's no irritation. It does feel very nice. That being said, I do not believe that this is the most hydrating toner I've ever tried. It does claim to hydrate the skin, and it does. But if you are looking for a toner that will specifically hydrate the skin, I don't think that this is the perfect item for you. They also claim that this product will help your skin look more revitalized. This product also claims to add some radiance and luminosity to the skin tone. If I compare it to the Camellia water cream, it does not have the instant effect. When I applied the Camellia water cream, I could see the instant result. I could see the instant luminosity and radiance. With the toner, I did not see instant results. It could be that this is an item that you need to try out more than just the sample. Maybe after a full size of, maybe after using the full size bottle, you would see more of that radiance and transparency in your skin coming through. But just testing it out, I personally didn't see a huge difference in my complexion. I think it is nice. I think it is a good toner. I think it does what it's supposed to do. It's helping to balance the pH. My skin does not feel stripped of any hydration or moisture. I think that this toner is okay. I personally look for toners that are going to be much more hydrating. That's my number one priority in a toner. I'm not so much looking for uh, revitalizing my skin or brightening. I feel like I want that more in other parts of my skincare. So this is not a bad toner. I just think for the price, this is not what I need. Um, when I tried the Water Camellia Cream, that definitely interested me 100% more than this item here. I don't think that this is a bad item. I just think that for my needs, this is not what I want. I think if you're someone who likes the Le Blanc skincare line, you probably would enjoy this very much. I think if you're someone who has issues with dull skin, you need to revitalize and brighten your skin tone, this could be for you. But for me personally, this is not going to be on my wish list for my next shopping spree. I do want to touch on something since we're talking about the Le Blanc line. Oftentimes we see skin brightening and it is not the same as skin whitening. Skin brightening is basically just adding hydration and luminosity and radiance to the skin. Skin whitening is a whole other bag that I personally would not touch with a 10 foot pole. That Those products are... They can be extremely damaging to the skin. Um, if you try any skin whitening products, whether it's eye creams, face creams, whatever, they make your skin so unbelievably sensitive to sunlight, which I think a lot of companies fail to mention that if you do some sort of skin whitening treatment, whether it's at home or at a spa, you basically have to become like a vampire. You have to apply lots of heavy SPF and you have to cover your skin, whatever treatment, like whatever area you're treated becomes very, very um, sensitive to sunlight. So if you have like a big spot here and you get it, you get it treated with a cream or a laser. Afterwards, this area is very fragile and very prone to reactivating the melanin and coming through with another patch of dark skin, which I think is a thing that a lot of people are not aware of. I think people buy skin bleaching items over the counter or online without realizing that they're compromising their skin. So that is just something to throw out there. And also please remember to wear your sunscreen every single day. It's nice to try these nice brightening, hydrating um, skincare items, but it is important to wear sunscreen every single day. So yeah, I think that about does it for today's video. Overall, I like this product. I'm not in love with it. When I tested out the Camellia water cream, I fell in love immediately. This item is okay, but 
Again, I think it depends on your skincare needs and what you're looking for. So let us know down in the comments what you guys think of today's video. Have you tried the Leblanc skincare line? Have you tried this essence toner? Let us know what you think down in the comments. And also feel free to let us know what is your favorite toner to use at home. So if you happen to enjoy today's video, might I suggest subscribing to my channel because we like to talk a lot about luxury and high-end makeup and skincare and a lot about Chanel. So if you like that, stick around. Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.